So this time of the year, we tend to think that woodland gardens like Cahays, the magnolias are nearing the end, some of the rhododendrons are nearing the end in this hot weather, but actually there's one particular genus which comes into its own at the end of May and the beginning of June, and you can start to see it properly here at Cahays. Today we're just going to have a look at four different species of Aeschylus or horse chestnut to show you what wonderful flowering plants they can be and what a wonderful addition to your garden they make. We all think of horse chestnuts, we then think of horse chestnut disease, we think of the terrible things that are happening to horse chestnuts in and around London, but actually out in the country, out in the open, there isn't so much of a problem and certainly the disease doesn't carry through to other species of horse chestnut. Here we've got Aeschylus bushii, a small tree in full flower by the end of May and as the flowers come out you can see that they're semi-double. When they first come out they have a yellow centre, the yellow centre then turns orange and finally it turns a bit pink. Uh, extremely pretty because it's a small tree you can see the flowers close up and what a wonderful plant this is. Uh, this is Aeschylus hippocastanum baumii and it's effectively the double flowered form of the horse chestnut and what a wonderful double flower that is when you look at it closely. Very intricate, the anthers and stamens standing proud of the flowers um, but although there are anthers and stamens you will never see a conker forming on this Aeschylus. Its double flowered form means that it's effectively sterile um, but what a wonderful flower that is. What an extraordinary flower for a horse chestnut. So here, here's another Aeschylus with a particularly unpronounceable name, Aeschylus warlitsensis. Don't say that too quickly because you might muddle it up. But anyway, and don't ask me to spell it either. Uh, but it's a particularly beautiful small tree. The flowers, when they fully open, uh, show point upwards. And you can just see a flash of uh, yellow in, in, in the centre of the trumpet. But the overall view of the flower is that it's, it's pink. But when you look more closely, as with all these Aeschylus, the flowers are much more intricate, much more delicate, and there are many more colours when you look closely. This is a small tree which Burnco's Nurseries will be stocking, hopefully this autumn, and it's one of a range of about 18 different species, which are very different in flower, and the message I'm trying to get through to you is that these are wonderful flowering plants for a woodland garden to extend the season into May and June. In Michael Hesseltine's garden at Thenhurst, they hold the national collection, and this was where we got the idea for Cahays to create something new and a bit different for people coming later in the season to the garden to enjoy. And this is our fourth uh, Aeschylus for today. There are many other species uh, which will be out in the next week or two, but this is Aeschylus indica, the Indian horse chestnut, and just look at the intricacy of the flowers. When they open, uh, the f first thing you see is a little dash of yellow, but as they open more fully, the dash of yellow turns into a dash of pale pink. Really very attractive, and it seems that not all the flowers come out at the same time, and they don't come out at the bottom and then move to the top. You've got flowers here showing a little bit of pink and a little bit of um, creamy yellow, uh, all on the same flower spike, which is enormous. This is a much more vigorous, larger tree than the others we've looked at. Um, but when you see the flowers 
face to face, it's really quite something.